Former President Donald Trump says he has reached an agreement to participate in the September 10th debate with Vice President Harris. In a post on Truth Social, Trump said the debate will take place on ABC News and said the format will follow the same rules as the last CNN debate. CBS News has reached out to the Harris Walls campaign but has not yet heard back. Let's bring in Olivia Rinaldi for more. So, Olivia, still unclear. Are we any closer to knowing what's happening with the issue of the mic and whether it will be muted? Yeah, Lindsay, there's been a lot of back and forth about this debate. Will they, won't they? What does it look like? We're getting a little bit more clarification from this true social post that Donald Trump just put out. You read a few things. I do want to note that he also said the rules will be the same as the CNN debate. And at the CNN debate, that is where they had the mics muted when a candidate was not speaking or perhaps when the question had gone to someone else. So if the rules are the same, we anticipate that that is something that will be continuing on in, in this debate. Trump also said the debate will be stand up, meaning the candidates will be standing, not sitting, and they will not be able to bring notes or, quote, cheat sheets. So all of these things pretty similar to the CNN debate that we saw back in June between former President Donald Trump and President Biden. Of course, this is going to be the first time that Vice President Harris and former President Donald Trump will be sitting down together for a debate. And we do know that this will be happening on September 10th in Philadelphia. Now, as you mentioned, we are out to the Harris campaign to make sure that all of these issues with mics and standing and, and notes are kaput, that they're done, that they've agreed on them, and that we can move forward and decide whether or not this debate is actually going to happen or not. But, uh, of course, we'll be watching for any more developments that could happen with this. Yeah, sitting down for the debate, or in this case, standing up for the debate. Olivia, what else are you hearing from the Trump campaign on their movements this week? Yeah, so we know later this week Donald Trump will be returning to Michigan. He'll be holding some remarks there. He'll also be doing a town hall in Wisconsin. What's interesting about that is that Tulsi Gabbard, who endorsed him on Monday, will be there with him. Now, she is the former representative, Democratic representative, who ran for president in 2020. She dropped out of that race, endorsed Bernie Sanders, and then now left the Democratic Party in 2022 and is now endorsing former President Donald Trump. So she'll be there with him on uh, Thursday, rather. Then Friday, Donald Trump will be going to Pennsylvania to give some remarks uh, near Pittsburgh. It'll be his first return back to that area since the assassination attempt in July. And then later that evening, he'll be speaking at the Moms for Liberty convention here in Washington, D.C. So a lot on the plate for the former president. That also comes as Vice President Kamala Harris is doing a bus tour in Georgia with her running mate, Governor Walls. The Trump campaign says, um, quote, we are proud that Robert F. Kennedy Jr. and Tulsi Gabbard have been added to the Trump Vance transition team. We look forward to having their powerful voices on the team as we work to restore America's greatness. Both spent most of their political lives as progressive Democrats. What do we know about this decision to bring them into the fold? Yeah, as I mentioned about uh, Tulsi Gabbard, you know, she is someone who kind of did a little bit of a, a turnaround and is now endorsing the former president. And we learned today that Robert Kennedy Jr., and Ms. Gabbard will be on the Trump transition team. They will be honorary co-chairs, along with Trump's two sons, Don Jr. and Eric, along with also Senator J.D. Vance, his running mate, is also an honorary co-chair of that transition. So it's interesting they're being brought back into the fold. Trump had some notable comments about RFK Jr. Uh, yesterday when he was at a campaign stop in Virginia, where he said he's being very well received by the party. That was notable. That perked my interest, quite frankly, hearing how he said RFK is being received by his base and by Republicans. So it was only natural for Trump to then bring him on in some capacity. What I'll be watching for, though, is to see if RFK will join him on the campaign trail again. You can see them there in Glendale, Arizona. But I'm curious if they will be joined any other time throughout this campaign. That'd be quite notable. Uh, and you'll be seeing Trump later this week with Ms. Gabbard in Wisconsin. Olivia Rinaldi, thank you.